why would you take a you know perfectly good roof and start to mess with it? So all these products, like I said, top mount, go over the shingle. A solution to that is taking the rafter out of the equation. That's where deck mounting comes in. Time and I've heard that that feedback that well, you know, I've spoken to a lot of contractors, they just don't feel comfortable working with my roof type. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference here in Texas. And this morning I'm joined by Mikey Wiener, head of marketing at QuickBolt, and we're gonna be looking at the QuickBolt lineup of roof attachments. So Mikey, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good to see you, Joe. Good to see you, Joe. Uh, we're happy to be here at the show. We've got a lot of awesome products we're showing off, and we're getting a lot of great questions from installers, contractors, uh, you know, our main customers and uh, resellers across the industry. So we're showing off a lot of new products here. What we have here is our asphalt line, uh, what we also call our top mount line. The really reason being is all these products are designed to go on top of the shingle. So the prevailing install method 10 years ago was using traditional flashing methods where we require you to lift the shingle uh, or you know, more accurately, tear up the shingle and no one liked doing it, and it really it threatens the integrity of the roof because the, of the action is you're lifting up what was meant to stay put down. <laughs> so we came out with this line, the quick bolt line, uh, about 10 years ago, and that was really to address those issues that contractors were having, is why would you take a you know, perfectly good roof and start to mess with it? So. All these products, like I said, top mount, go over the shingle. That actually ends up cutting down the install time for installers while also improving the quality of the job that they're doing at the same time. So since then, we've had three versions of the Quick Bolt and built the line out further from our rafter mounted solutions to our deck mounted solutions, which is another popular install method. It's a growing popularity these days. So. With this line, we're able to accommodate uh, various methods across the country, depending on the climate and the you know, ecosystems they're working in. And with that, we're able to address concerns that homeowners have as well, in terms of you know, the duration and durability of the products that are being put on the roof. Uh, no one wants a, a house to leak. So working with these types of over the shingle products allow us to address those concerns in a way that previously was uh, haphazardly addressed or, you know, imperfect solutions. They, they, flashing works well, but it was an imperfect solution. So we started developing those, these products to address that. Uh, certain things we've done with our quick bolts are they rely on what we call bolt seal, and, which is, you know, the bolt is sealing the penetration. So as you drive the bolts down, they compress into the micro flashings here, and then that's where the sealing's happening. That's you know the real main technological difference between our products and other companies' products is you can use sealant with or you know you can use sealant with our products or you don't have to. You know we put it through rigorous testing standards, industry testing standards, uh, through AT ASTM, all you know all that techno babble, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but we put it through testing uh, to really see you know how is it going to stand up in rain? How is it going to stand up in high wind zones? So. The, you know, those sorts of standards are put in place to make sure that companies like us are making products that homeowners and building owners can confidently have installed on their, their roofs. So another uh, innovation to the industry was the use of butyl sealant. So it's like a you know, sticky rubber tape essentially uh, comes you know, prefabricated on our products. Uh, there's a number of other companies that utilize that as well, and it's been used in roofing for, you know, 100 years. So this also allows contractors to avoid using, you know, a, like a squeeze applied sealant. Uh, so it's, it's, it's all the little things that we do, you know, to provide customer service and quality in our products that uh, let contractors, you know, get up on the roof and off the roof quicker without sacrificing quality. Yeah, Mikey, absolutely. And I, I can relate back in my days as an installer, you know, sometimes being up with the roof crew or watching the roof crew when they had to go to try to find the rafters for the rafter type mounts, 
you're right. It's like they, they take a flat bar and they're like they're like separating the shingles apart. So, you know, uh, seals that were meant to be like you know kept watertight. So they're they're separating the shingles, trying to find the rafter locations, and then bolting into the rafters. Can you tell us a little bit more about the the, the transition from the rafter based uh, attachment method to the the top mount? What do you call it? The, the top mount or the the, the top bolt? And how, do, how can that help in terms of keeping the contractor not only installing faster, but less disruptive for the roof? Okay, yeah, so deck mounting's really become more prevalent in recent years. And the, the main difference is with these products are, are quick bolts, uh, you're aiming for the rafter, you know, the, the roof framing. Uh, that does require a certain level of precision. Uh, ultimately, you being on the roof, you know, there's no perfect tool. You can use a rafter finder, but that is just finding, uh, you know, bulk underneath the shingle. It's not looking for wood. Uh, and you can use other tools like knocking is very common with a hammer and you're just listening for it. So there's, there's not a perfect way to find the rafter. So that does open up the room for error. And plenty of people, even, even uh, veteran installers still miss the rafter. So a solution to that is taking the rafter out of the equation. That's where deck mounting comes in. And every roof has a deck, which is attached to the rafter. So ultimately you're getting some uh, you know, connection to the roof somehow. And what you end up trading is more penetrations because you need to equalize the attachment strength and you often end up with more mounts. However, you don't have to spend any time finding the rafter. So as long as you have solid uh, sealing methods, then you end up with a perfectly good uh, system on the roof attached differently. And it, I, I talk about it like it's choice, but ro uh, roofers and installers don't always have a choice. Sometimes uh, it's an old roof, the rafter's all wonky, they can't find it. You know, they may have done everything right in terms of planning and laying out their system, but the, the roof you know, is not behaving as expected. Uh, maybe they're at the end of the array near the edge of the roof and you know there's no rafters that they can tie into uh or there's a overhang on the system that happens a lot where you know, the end of the system is cantilevered so deck mounting is a necessary supplement to rafter mounting uh, but it's now reached a point in the technology where the sealing methods are and the innovation on the actual attachment points are good enough that people you know do just deck mounting and uh, especially works well in you know states like California where the weather is typically nice and uh, throughout the, even throughout the year you don't have super heavy winds or rainstorms uh, as consistently as you might have in other areas of the country. Uh, like Miami Dade, for example, is a high wind hurricane zone. Uh, you know they have very strict standards that you have to do to approve products for installation there. So in addition to the, the testing that we do for our products you have to go through an additional testing and approval process in Miami-Dade County. Uh, this product right here, our, our butyl deck mount, has just been approved, which is a very exciting for us and our customers, as well as the homeowners there who you know, want to lower the cost of the systems they're, they're putting on their roofs. Parts like these will help achieve that goal because you have more affordable components, which makes the jobs uh, for the installers, they're able to price their jobs lower because they're not shelling, shelling out quite as much for their, for their parts. So you now they can balance that with their labor costs. And as well as our quick bolt line, our QB2 has been uh, Miami Dade approved for a couple of years. So, and it's the only Miami Dade approved product that can be used without sealing because of our bolt seal technology that I mentioned earlier. Great. Well, I, I can certainly see the advantage also of having the sealant sort of pre preloaded onto the bracket. So it's just just less less things for the roofers to fumble with while they're up there trying to you know spray the sealant and apply that. Just having kind of everything pre cut for you, so that you can get in and in and out of the the roof job more more quickly. Now I know one of the other issues is you know managing different roof types. A lot of times there's certain roof types some solar contractors don't like to work with because maybe they feel that they don't have a reliable solution or they they don't feel confident offering a roof leak guarantee. Uh, can you tell me about some of your attachments for maybe more more non-standard roof types like standing seam or stone coated steel? That's a great question. As a mounting manufacturer, uh, we like to think of ourselves as experts in mounting, but because our products attach to the roof, we also have had to become experts in roof types as well. So 
comp shingle asphalt is, of course, the most popular uh, roofing in, in the United States, but there's plenty of other roofing options out there. So we have solutions for all of those. Uh, one of which you mentioned is standing seam roofs. That's a metal roof. It's, it's very popular. Uh, there's a dozen different ways you can make it. There's actually, there's probably a hundred different types of uh, ways the seam can be uh, applied. And that's where the, the water prevention comes in for the roof product. Uh, but our, our product we have out recently is uh, what we call the throne. This one right here. Uh, can you guess why? <laughs> and this attaches to, but you put it over the seam and then you tighten down these set screws here. So uh, this has been uh, a, existing methods have been around for uh, a while and uh, we made a few minor improvements, uh, we think for our uh, audience and that would be adding an L foot attached to the mount, uh, the prevailing method is uh, a clamp, which you can then add an L foot to, which comes with you know benefits like adjustability. Um, but because we are mounting, you know, uh, specialty mounting suppliers, we figured all of our customers are working in solar, so we want to make something aimed at that market, where we know they're going to be attaching an L foot. So we said, let's cut out the fluff and just put the L foot on top of it. <laughs> so it comes with it. Uh, much like these products come, you know, with the sealant attached, we wanted to cut out a few steps for the installer. If you're installing a couple hundred of these on a roof, that time really starts to add up. So it's those sort of design choices that we can make as a manufacturer to lower the um, cost to the labor on the roof for the contractors, which again feeds back into benefits for the building owner, the homeowner. Because uh, we see that kind of roof on residential and commercial buildings. Uh, which is which is incredible. So it adds a really versatile solution to the market. Uh, another roof that we uh, have, you know, considered ourselves specialists on would be uh, stone coated steel, which is a it's a luxury roof. It's a niche product, but it's a it's a great product. It's a fifty year roof. So the you know, choice homeowners make is well, if I live in a intense climate, do I want to replace my roof every fifteen years, or do I want to pay a little bit more for something that will probably last that time and that trade-off is exactly demonstrated with the stone coated steel roof so you've probably seen them they look like tile they look like shingle from the ground but once you get up there you can see it's steel so uh, these roofs they come in two different styles that'll be interlocking is the style we have here where you have this return and uh, they're usually lower profile closer to the roof uh, and then you might see an overlapping style which is a uh, more like a tile you could see uh, an example we could show later. Um, but basically, uh, these hooks are very simple. You have to get the roof up, and then once that's out of the way, you can mount the bolt, bolts into the rafter, put down the hook. Uh, what we have here is our batten bridge because these roofs are often installed with battens, much like you would have with a concrete tile or a clay tile. So we built that design into the hook to come up over the batten and then back down, and it allows for a really neat installation and this is, uh, homeowners care about this stuff because they want to look up at their roof and see a clean install. You know, they don't, they don't want uh, hooks to be coming out and the roofs to be all cattywampus. They want something that looks clean and aesthetic, that looks nice. That's why we have, uh, you know, black finish mounts, because aesthetics matter. And it's become really pre prevalent in years, uh, recent years. So, yeah, this, this product right here, uh, we have a whole line of that. Uh, we work closely with the manufacturers to make sure that our hooks are compatible. Uh, we have a we have a great chart we've put together, uh, built from our database of compatibility and you know the measurements we've taken from the roofs over the years. Um, yeah, so there's that roof, and then of course uh, we have a, a huge line of hooks we've assembled over the years from uh, for tile, uh, clay tile, concrete tile, flat, curved. Uh, there's a dozen different ways to do it. So we've had uh, installers come to us over the years saying, "Hey, I'm I'm working." I've got a whole neighborhood I'm working on, but it's a tile roof. You know, the, the manufacturer is 80 years old or they're out of business. They can't find anything on Google. And they're like, I, you know, I, I just need a couple extra millimeters out of this hook. And, you know, the, everything you have is it's not quite there. So we're like, hey, you know what? We can do that. We'll, we'll take a look. We'll work with you and we'll custom design things. So we've done that, um, like I said, dozens of times. And so we're now with a huge uh, catalog full of tile hooks, especially. And so... 
those are the types of things that we do. You know, when we design, we, we work with contractors and uh, we say, we don't want access to a solution to be a limitation. You know, we don't want a homeowner to, well, lots of the homeowners, especially with Stunquoted Steel, they say, you know, I would love solar, but every installer I talk to says, ah, I don't work on that kind of roof. And we don't want that to be a barrier to solar access. So we try to, to bridge that gap with products that can open that door up for contractors. It's, it's good for them because then they can have a new service offering, but then that trickles down to the homeowners who say, oh, you know, I've, I've talked to three installers in my area, they don't want to work on this. Now, there might be a few more that are willing to. And because they, they've learned how to walk on the roofs without damaging it, uh, they have a, a solution that is, uh, is, you know, custom tailored to what they're looking for. So uh, it's those little things, you know, that we, we want to make sure that we can address to make sure that solar is accessible for everyone. Excellent, excellent, Mike. And, and you know, I do talk to a lot of homeowners from time to time, and I've heard that, that feedback that, well, you know, I've spoken to a lot of contractors, they just don't feel comfortable working with my roof type, if it's a luxury or an exotic roof type. And uh, it's great to see that you have a solution for a number of those, like the standing seam or the stone coated steel, which again, it's, typically it's more affluent buyers. They're investing in a higher quality roof that's gonna last 30, 40, 50 years, and they wanna take advantage of solar access as well. Well, Mikey, is there anything else that the audience should know about roof attachments or different roof types? Maybe if there's a solar installer out there, where can they go about getting your product? Are they buying through distribution? Do you work directly with the, the, uh, the installers? How does that work? It's a great question. Uh, much like our product offerings themselves, uh, our purchasing supply lines, we treat the same. You know, we want to provide choice. So uh, we have an online store that uh, people can buy directly from us if they want, whether you're a homeowner who's looking to DIY a project uh, or an installer or a reseller trying to streamline your purchasing. Uh, you can you can buy directly online and we'll ship to you, UPS, FedEx, uh, anywhere within the country. We even ship uh, outside of the country as well. We have plenty of customers in uh, Puerto Rico and uh, Canada that we work with. Uh, and we are big fans of distribution partnerships. So we have a lot of, uh, you know, brick and mortar partners we work with, uh, you know, Green Tech, Cranic, uh, Solagent, um, Crawford Electric. Uh, there's, there's, there's too many to name, but we're big fans of that. So if you are a installer who prefers to work with distribution, you have a preferred partner, then if they're not already stocking our product, we can work with them to make sure that they can get it where they want to. All right, excellent, excellent. So a lot of options, folks. You can buy through your distributor. You can buy direct from the uh, Cookbolt website. We'll make sure that we get a link in the description down below for you as well. Uh, and again, this has been a presentation of the Quickbolt 2024 roof attachment lineup. Hey folks, as always, if you're getting good values from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up. You know, that's why we come to the trade shows like this to make sure that we're gonna be able to give you the most up-to-date solar technology and product information. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos posting, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner out there, if you're in the process of looking at different solar or, or maybe battery options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote or maybe you already have a price quote, you just need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best deal. Um, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a call with a solar expert uh, or just use our free online quote tool to see how much solar or battery storage costs in your area. Well, Mikey, I appreciate you taking time to chat with us uh, this morning. Uh, that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.